One of the fun things about the Rugrats reboot is that they get to explore stories that they wouldn't have done in the classic series. That's not to say I prefer it to the classic series, but it does mean that there are opportunities to have different different narratives. And this is what we get with I Dream of Duffy. This is the second segment of the sixth episode of the first season. And this one is all about a device called Duffy that's obviously parodying those very popular devices that you speak to and they speak back. And everything's going absolutely fine until Angelica realizes that she can tell Duffy she wants to order some toys. And Duffy, understanding what Angelica is saying, immediately orders the toys. And then they arrive at the door within minutes. And obviously, Angelica takes great advantage of this. I wish they'd had a little bit more fun with the things she was ordering. There were a few things that were maybe unpredictable and entertaining, but I think they could have done more with it. It could have been more engaging. The babies want to order things as well but what I love about this is that while the babies are speaking very clearly as we can hear Duffy doesn't understand them and I think that that was a really great choice to make because obviously if the grown-ups can't understand the babies there's no way that this device would either and I think that worked very well. It did give us some imaginative play scenes and I feel like they put those in there to try and be creative but for me they should have had the creativity with the things that Jellica was ordering In general, I'm not a fan of imaginative play scenes and I just feel like it felt a little bit unnecessary here. And I didn't care for it very much at all, both in terms of personal preference and I also just felt like it wasn't the right choice for this episode. Although, to be fair, up until this point in the reboot, we haven't had that much imaginative play, so I can't complain too much. I feel like this is a very real problem for parents, not necessarily with talking devices, but just you know, most young children these days, either rightly or wrongly, have access to iPads or phones. And you can can order things at the click of a button, unless you have, you know, parental settings. And let this, I guess, be a lesson to the grown-ups in this episode. And hopefully any parents watching it might just think twice about whether or not they've set the right um, parent locks on their devices because I can imagine that yeah children do order things and thankfully most of the sites that have one click purchasing I won't name which one is the most um, prone to that but I feel like most of them have a really great returns policy if this kind of thing does happen but that doesn't mean that Angelica's parents were very pleased Drew in particular not very pleased with the way things had gone for Angelica in this episode I think it's a very real episode and I think it worked very well. Yes, I wish they'd had more fun with the things Angelica was ordering. Yes, I wish the imaginative play just didn't exist. I just don't feel like it was very necessary. Oh, but there is something and I might have missed this. I might have missed this explanation so please feel free to tell me why that happens but I don't understand why Susie wasn't able to use Duffy. Obviously the babies couldn't because they can't communicate with adults so a human can't understand them. Neither can Duffy. But Susie was there, and I don't understand why she couldn't. But I might have missed that. If I did miss it, please feel free to explain to me why she can talk to grown-ups. Although, now that I've said that, can she talk to grown-ups? Has there been an instance in the reboot where she has communicated with grown-ups? I'm not so sure. Now I'm going to have to keep a keen eye out for that. These are thoughts that I'm definitely saying as they come to me. I will investigate. Either way... I Dream of Duffy is generally a fun episode, one that they definitely wouldn't have been able to do very well back in the day, and I think one that I rather enjoyed. 